Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up PIN OS, which is a multi-boot operating system or loader for the Raspberry Pi. Let's jump right in. All right, I have the Raspberry Pi Imager. If you don't have this, it's a free download. I'll leave you a link for that uh, straightforward install. Go ahead and select your version of the Raspberry Pi. I'm dealing with a 4B here today. And then my operating system, I'm going to scroll down until I see uh, miscellaneous utility images click on that click on pin and I'm gonna get the latest one here and then I do have a m2 drive inside of a um, I have an NVMe m2 drive inside of a USB enclosure I'll show you guys that a picture of that did a video on that recently as well uh, go ahead and select that and then you're gonna hit next and I'm fine with wiping out everything on that USB Again, it's actually a M2 drive inside of a USB 3 enclosure. So we'll let that write, give it a second. And it's done. So we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now that we have our USB imaged with our pin OS, I am booting up the Raspberry Pi. I've obviously plugged in the USB Again, M2, MVME, and a USB enclosure. And that's booting up right now. I'm using my HDMI capture device to record this in OBS. And it's coming right up here. So when you first image it, this is what you'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our images that we want to use. So I'm just going to do a couple for testing here. I'll do the Android and you see there's different categories here, general, minimal, uh, games, legacy, media, utility, testing, and then sailing. So I'm just going to do a couple of the generals. Let's do one light. Let's do Diet Pie 64. Reminds me that uh, Diet Soda back in the day, Diet Right. Um, for games, I like Retro Pie. There's a lot of good ones, though. We'll probably explore some of these moving forward. But again, this video is just kind of exploring PIN and making sure we know how to set it up with multi-boot. Let's do one media unless we want to use this as like a Plex server or anything like that. Um, let's go with, I don't think I've used any of these. Let's go with Pi Core Player 6.4. And that should be good enough for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. If I can find that, here it is. Partial USB support for, looks like this is Android. So we may have issues with Android, but let's go ahead and do it anyway and see what happens. Okay, now by default, this is gonna split the space up between all of these operating systems. So just be aware of that when you guys uh, use PIN. It'll take, it'll show you the amount of space it needs, and then it'll show you the amount of space that is going to be quote unquote extra. So you'll have this much free space. Now, if you want to change those, you can. Uh, just for this first run through, again, we're just kind of testing out exploring pin. I'll leave it like that. So I'll click OK. And this is going to take quite a while, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and run some errands. I'm going to shut off my camera. I'll keep recording, though. And then we'll come back when this is all done and see what it looks like. All right, guys, that took some time, but it is done. Pin OS is booted up, and now we have our multi-boot selection screen, and we see all five of our operating systems that we selected to install are available right here. We did get a warning uh, upon adding the Android OS, so let's test this one out and see if it boots. All 
All right, very nice, guys. Android, I think this is Android OS 13, has booted up with no issues. Uh, no issues so far, anyway, I should say. Let me go ahead and see what we can do. All right, let's take a look at our menus, settings. Yeah, it appears that this is a functional working version of Android OS. Very cool. We won't go through all the operating systems in this video. Again, I wanted to make this to demonstrate Pin OS and show you guys how you can get a multi-boot uh, operating system or a multi-boot loader for the Raspberry Pi. This was, again, Pin OS. We'll probably take a look at Berry Boot. And once I've made a decision on which one I think is the best, I will go ahead and build from there the ultimate Raspberry Pi USB. And again, I keep saying USB because these do attach via USB, but today I'm using an M2 NVMe drive in a USB 3.2 enclosure. So very high performance, very reliable drive. And uh, yeah, it kicks ass. So stick around, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because this will be a small series. And as things evolve, I think you're going to be more and more interested to see how this all plays out. Hope you all have a great day. Until the next video, take care.